Hey, greetings. This is Brother Jim at Don'tPerish.com, John 4, 24 Radio. Hey, got a teaching for you today, overcoming in tribulation. Hey, let me read to you a passage of Scripture, and then I want to talk about it. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. Understand the context here. It's in the great tribulation. It's people, God's people, who will have to overcome Satan's wrath on earth. And the verse says this, and they overcame him, Satan, by the blood of the lamb and by the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. Wow. What a beautiful scripture verse for us to unpack. Let's talk about that. So this is in the tribulation. Great persecution is going to come against the people of God. Satan and the Antichrist and his false prophet are going to throw everything they have at the bride of Christ. That's his true bride, not man-made Christianity, the true remnant bride of Christ, the called out ones. And this verse tells us how we're going to overcome. Let's talk about it. First of all, it says, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb. What's this talking about? This is talking about the gospel of Jesus Christ, right? Jesus came proclaiming the kingdom of God has come, and then he laid down his life a perfect sacrifice, shed his blood for the forgiveness of sins, rose again on the third day to, to, to defeat death, and then calls Apostle Paul to go and preach the gospel. What does Paul say the gospel is? In Timothy, 1 Timothy, he says, my gospel that I preach to you is Christ's resurrection. And then in Corinthians, he talks about, I preach Christ crucified. So how are we overcoming? Number one, by the blood of the lamb. What has the gospel done to you? Has it changed you by faith? through your repentance by being born again, holiness and obedience as the fruit you're born of God and enduring as it's talking about here in the great tribulation, that's what the blood of the lamb has done. It's changed my life, it's changed my wife's life, it's changed my brothers and sisters' lives. How has it changed your life? The blood of the lamb. Next it says, and by the word of their testimony. Now, what is that? What's the word of the testimony? The word of the testimony is not, oh, I heard about Jesus one time and I raised my hand and said a prayer. No, a biblical testimony of a transformed life through faith and repentance being made new. Look at, I'm preaching the gospel here. I'm preaching the blood of the lamb and that you have walked in it in fruit of holiness and obedience and you're enduring in it. You've come out of the world. You've come out of man-made religion. That's your testimony. It's not I go to church. It's not that I just believe in Jesus. It's not that I was born a Baptist, Lutheran, or whatever. Those are unbiblical, man-made ways. No. What is your testimony? Your testimony is about how you've been transformed because of the blood of the Lamb. See how these tie together? So we have the blood of the Lamb. We have the word of their testimony. What God has done, the gospel truth, us proclaiming proclaiming the word of God, going out and making disciples by preaching the gospel. What a beautiful thing. And then third, it says, and they love not their lives unto death. Wow, we love this ver that part of the verse. What does this mean? Have you surrendered everything you are? Have you forsaken the world, the fallen world? Have you forsaken your friends and family that want nothing to do with the truth of God? Have you forsaken all of your fleshly ways that took you away from the truth of God? Have you forsaken the worry about persecution and being tortured and killed and losing family and losing your job and losing material things and maybe losing money? And yeah, losing your life. It says they love not their lives unto death. That means because of the blood of the Lamb, because of the biblical gospel and the word of their testimony, they love not their lives. They didn't hold on to their lives. What did Jesus tell us? We got to lose our life to find it in him. Man, I feel like I'm preaching now instead of just teaching. So this is a very important scripture. They overcame Satan and evil and all this tribulation because of the blood of the lamb. That's the gospel. The word of their testimony, how the gospel affected my life and changed me. And they love not their lives unto death. They don't back down when they're threatened with torture or murder, or excuse me, being murdered, 
persecution, losing everyone around them, being ostracized. No, they love not their lives unto death. Why? Because they know their Lord and Savior is coming for them. And if he doesn't come and they're persecuted unto death and tortured and murdered, they're going to go be with their Savior and they're going to hear, well done, good and faithful servant. So how about if we all that are claiming the name of Christ test ourselves against Revelation 12 verse 11. The tribulation's coming, you know. They're not going to be, we're not going to be raptured out as this false teaching of pre-trib rapture teaches. Go to don'tperish.com. Go to my teaching articles. Look up pre-trib rapture exposed. You are not going to be taken out before Jesus Christ returns. Apostle Paul and Jesus both teach his return comes at the last trump. We're going to have to endure great wrath, not God's wrath, the wrath of Satan and his workers and his Antichrist and his false prophet. Yep, that's exactly what Revelation 12 is talking about. So again, they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, the word of their testimony, and they loved not their lives unto death. How you doing at that? I'm going to go away and test myself to that. I'm going to ask brothers to test me to that. Let me know how I can help you walk in accordance to that because the tribulation is coming. If you're not ready to be persecuted and go through tribulations and trials and separate yourself and obey God, strip yourself down, use all your time, use everything that he's given you to further his kingdom. If you're not doing that today, men, if you're about other things rather than his kingdom, proclaiming, learning it, teaching it, you're not going to be ready for the great tribulation and you will not endure Hey, this has been Brother Jim. I love you all. That's why I preach the truth. Let me know how I can help you in the faith. Go to don'tperish.com. Shoot me an email. Till next time, as I always say, go out. Have a glorious day. Hope you can hear me over all of this noise. I'm out here preaching the gospel. And may God be praised. <laughs>